Next month is the 99th annual Miss America competition, and a lot of daughters want to follow in their mother's footsteps. But there have only been 11 Miss America contestants whose daughters also went on to compete for the same crown. Joining us right now is one of those very families. Vicki Kippers was Miss Minnesota in 1983, and her daughter, Catherine Kippers, is this year's Miss Minnesota. I want to thank you both for being here. Thank you. Um, it's a treat. Oh, it, it, it's kind of an amazing story and hard to imagine that this could actually happen. Uh, Catherine, you're Miss Minnesota for this year's competition. Yes. What did you learn growing up about this, watching what your mother had done? Mm -hmm. Well, when I decided to compete, I knew that I wanted to compete for the scholarships. I also knew that there was an experience like no other waiting for me because you get to meet women from all over the country, you get to practice interviews, practice public speaking. So I wanted that experience that I knew my mom had also had. Vicki, did it shock you when you heard she wanted to do this? Oh my gosh, okay. because I always dragged her to every pageant, and my sons too, <laughs> and we always go, and uh, she would just run off and be with her friends, and a lot of the Miss Minnesotas were like her aunts, and one day she came to me and said, I want to compete, and I'm like, you do, we really had never discussed it. Yeah. So what did you think when she said that? Well, I said, okay, we're gonna sit down and have a talk. You're going to need to improve your grades, you need to be able to better your talent by taking lessons, mm -hmm. um, and just really buckle down because it is a job. It's not just the crown, it is a job. What do you love most about it, Catherine? Honestly, I love the talent and, and the speaking portion. We've added some new phases of competition that will highlight what each of us has to say as candidates. And I'm so excited to know that I will get my chance to speak on the Miss America stage about what I care about. What do you care about? Oh, well, I do care about this organization. And so one thing that I try to do with my job as Miss Minnesota is advocate not only for what we do, but who we are as title holders. So my mom and I have actually worked together on a couple of video projects highlighting what Miss America really stands for through the eyes of the women who compete. Hmm, that's interesting. Let, let's talk about your experience with this, Vicki. Mm -hmm. You uh, competed in the 1984 the competition. Mm -hmm. That's when Vanessa Williams right. was crowned. Uh, right. What, what did you learn through that experience? What, 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 what surprised you? Well, nothing surprised me. It's, it's an experience like no other. And to have that experience, they say that you're more likely to have a son compete in the Super Bowl than a daughter <laughs> compete for Miss America. It is a it rare is and unique and uh, stealing, I would say. Once you go through this program, any woman, even at a local or state level, would agree it steals you. You become kind of like, you can handle anything. And the experience of meeting women from all around the country working towards the same goal, there's no cattiness. We really get along and some of our best friends are other title holders. Mm -hmm. Catherine, what, what about the experience today has evolved? What, what do you think happens in terms of how changes have made to, 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 the, to the competition just to yes. make it fit in today's society? Well, the first change is that there is no more swimsuit competition. So that is one big difference between what my mom and I have competed in. Are you in glad addition, for that? I'm very glad for that, yes. <laughs> it's, it's actually been a really positive change, especially when I try to recruit new candidates. It's so inspiring to be able to see and go into high schools and talk to young women and say, you can compete for these scholarships and you don't have to put on a swimsuit in order to win those scholarships and they're right on board. Yeah. It's really exciting. What do you think about it? Oh, I think it's great. I, I mean, just all of the things that have to do to get ready for a swimsuit competition, that's gone. You can focus on the more important things, but yet wonderful women have competed in swimsuit. It's been a huge part of the history because Miss America started out as a swimsuit competition in 1921 on the boardwalk. So it is, it's a great part of our history, and, uh, but I love how we've evolved today. Thank you both so much for joining us. And Catherine, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Peggy. Thank